And with Valentine's Day next week, February represents the month of love. Many times we show others how much we love and care for them without taking some time to give ourselves a little love and appreciation. Self-love has ways to potentially improve your time management and decrease anxiety. And joining me this morning from Yorktown, Indiana, is one of our favorites. She is our favorite time strategist, <laughs> Alyssa Smith, with some tips <laughs> on improving self-love and time management. So good to see you. I was telling you during the break that I wish I could remember what was on social media this weekend that you had up because it was a good one. Hopefully I'll remember oh, thank it. Thank you so much. You're welcome <laughs> and we'll talk about it. But I want to get into some of the steps, the top three, your top three, steps to self-love yes so this is you know february can be a tough month for some people and because there's there's all this expectation and this romanticized idea about love but that's why i wanted to turn it back to, more towards self-love because really you can experience joy more fully when you are absolutely being productive doing the mm. things that matter to you and that all centers around how much you love yourself but it's not something that we necessarily have if we have grown up with negative messaging, negative self-talk, we're hard on ourselves, and we're maybe stuck in survival mode. So a lack of self-love comes from being perpetually stressed mm. because in that state, our primal brain has one concern mm. and it's to help us stay alive. It's not interested necessarily mm. in the higher level things like self-actualization, self-love, like really nurturing ourselves. So every time we're stuck in that survival mode, it's choosing for us, if we can't calm the stress, our brain is choosing for us, let's go for the thing that will help us survive rather than the thing that will help us feel loved. So if you're working on a project say, and you're really up against the deadline, and you know that, okay, so I just got to plow through, you might forget to eat. Mm. You might forget to take a break when you need a break. You're not thinking about your five senses, you're not grounded in your body, and your body, and, and there's a part of your brain that learns that it's going to be neglected when there's pressure. So that's where the lack of self-love comes. So basically, the way I like to explain this, and this, I have a workshop coming up called The Anxiety Oasis, and this is what we'll be talking about. It's the way that I look at self-love and trust, self-trust, is that it's in a bucket. And mm -hmm. every time we choose survival mode or we n don't catch that we're in survival mode, instead of nurturing ourselves, then that bucket kind of dumps out. But then there are ways that we can start filling it back up. It's never too late to rewire the brain and start filling it back up. I can just see people at home right now saying, oh my gosh, that's me. I feel like I'm in, I'm in survival mode all the time. And there are people that are watching that probably can't even identify it until they feel yes. like it's way too late. Do you have a tip yes. for them or a way to kind of connect with you on maybe the stress less lounge to be able to help them be able to recognize this? Yes, absolutely. I have actually I have two things, um, two things to send them to. So for I have a special gift for women that they can download that will help them to save more time and learn where they're in survival mode. And that is at stresslesswithalyssa.com. And then I have a free Facebook group for women where you can just come and join us. And we go over these tips every single day I'm in there. Every single week we're doing trainings just on these basic things. And it's not overwhelming because I know that our enemy is overwhelmed. So we break it down into bite-sized pieces. So that's really huge. And my first step of the three that I'm constantly talking about in those spaces is number one, notice your stress symptoms. Because many of us take it for granted that we go around with that headache, those shoulders, mm. you know, crunched up, mm -hmm. um, you know, that that knot in your stomach. We, we, I mean, I was talking to someone last week and she's like, I don't know that I can remember a time without those symptoms. But if you can recognize your symptoms, you are on your way to overcoming them. Okay, so we're going to get everybody the information and where to go because we're out of time. And I know you had those free downloadable stress relief, that gift. We're going to have all yeah. of that um, information for people. But so good to see you. And just to start nice recognizing to this, helping yes, people. Absolutely. We love you and we love it. So we're going to have links again to our website posted on our website, fox59.com slash links. It's more self-love and kind of helping everybody, men and women, Jim.